going to give you some statistics that really, they shocked me when I looked them up today about Wallingford. In Wallingford, 5% of the population lives in poverty, but there's 22% that fall in between um, being able to meet a survival budget and poverty. We call that the Alice population, mm -hmm. asset limited income constrained but employed. It's like the working poor. Mm -hmm. Connecticut United Way did a study on every town in the state to measure what the Alice population was. And in Wallingford, it, it's 27 percent. So that's now, almost... Now, is that like high compared to other towns? It's higher than the state average, um, okay. but not that much higher. And this is the working poor. This is people that have your mm -hmm. stereotypical nine to five jobs. Yes. That, yeah. um, but for whatever reason, can't make ends meet. Families the biggest two um, expenses are housing and child care. Mm -hmm. um, and for an individual, it's housing. The studies that have been done say that if you're spending more than 30% of your income on housing, that makes it very unstable. Mm -hmm. You're one car repair away, one medical ev um, event away from being able to, to pay your bills and, and yeah. pay the rent. We've actually seen that a lot because we have the emergency yeah. shelter yes. and we have the beds for 15 single adults mm -hmm. and then we have the four family units and I would say about 90 percent of our population that's in the family units mm -hmm. are within that Alice. Yes, you know they yeah. have full-time jobs, um, they tend to be single women, mm -hmm. you know single mothers um, working and mm -hmm. uh, just for whatever reason can't afford child care or just mm -hmm. are so weighed down by the expense of living. It's very easy for them to slip beneath yes. the cracks yep. and they need that extra assistance just to get back up on their feet. Mm -hmm.